Obviously. Go ahead. Perhaps Team One would like to repeat their name for those who are just now tuning in. So for Team One, what was your name again? Hmm. We are the best team since Abraham Lincoln. Thank you. And Team Two? Say it to her face. And now explain it to this ignorant Canadian. So there is a there's a saying in that we have in the States, which is you got something to say, say it to my face. Right. And lo and behold, uh, Vice President Harris said that to uh, number 45. You got something to say? Say it to my face. It was it was during because the... he's trying to get out of debating her. Yeah. Well, is he? Well, of course what, he what? is, because she's going to whip his ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, team number three is Alan, Ben, and Janine. <clears throat> you want to do the honors, Jean? Kamala is vote. right. They're weird. Uh, I, I voted yeah, for the yeah. comma LA, but uh, that's kind of still obscure. So, uh, yeah, I've been wearing my Kamala um, pearls. So, what is she right about? What was it right about? I, I, so you want to be Canadian to be ignorant. She's calling that she's calling Trump's people just they're weird. They're, they're using weird. the word weird. weird. Yeah, and they, weird is a new adjective. They say okay. it because it's it's easy for True. them to understand and gotcha. insult well, them at the same time. And, and, it's, and it's descriptive and true. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah. Toilet, and, and, and a little they and a little it. understated, frankly. But... Very much so. <laughs> Very much so. All right, Carl, Kim, or sorry, Kim, Carl, Jim, Kevin, and Ron. There's all these K's. Well, we'll just call it Carl, Kim, Kevin, and Con. So Carl, it, Jim, Kevin, and Jim Con. with a K. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, with a K. Carl, <laughs> Carl's brother is Jim with a K. Here we go. <laughs> Team number four. Ooh. Thankfully, not the weird Republicans. <laughs> that one is referring to the, the previous one as well, correct? But the, yes. they're weird. Yep. Yeah, uh, nice. Okay, so thankfully, not the weird Republicans. And the last team, team number five, Jamie, Cindy, Gail, and Mike. Oh. SCOTUS changed its motto. No one is above the law, but no is crossed out. So it's above the law. <laughs> uh. <laughs> So when did you come up with that one, Jamie? And did you have like four or five, like usual? Yeah, I had about six or seven of them. <laughs> Do you know what's funny? When I copied and pasted it into the Google thing, the whole thing crossed out. Really? <laughs> oh, wow. That's weird. <laughs> That's, That's weird. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. And there we go. So this is game number 226 of season five for the Susan social trivia and we have team number one we are the best team since Abraham Lincoln team number two say it to her face team team number three com, com, I, I'm, I'm gonna say that wrong Kamala is right they're weird and team number four thankfully not the weird republicans and team number five is SCOTUS changed its motto. No, oh, no, no, it's crossed out. One is above the law. There we go. So I guess first up is Peggy. You ready to go? Oh, yay. <clears throat> um, George will appreciate it because it means he doesn't have to forego his walk in the middle. <laughs> Um, tonight's category is just a mystery category. I think it'll be pretty easy, but it's about film. All right. And <clears throat> there are some things that link these films together. Well, one thing, not some things. What am I talking about? Are we okay not muting or do you want me to mute? Um, I don't need muting until people misbehave. Okay. That so, Kat, be you just... <laughs> you better mute. You just pull up a red card. <laughs> pull up a red card. You're, you're probably right. Saying that, you were just asking for trouble. <laughs> I was asking for trouble. You're right. I was just not making it right. So number one, which, oh, where are you? Fucking chat. Where'd you go? Um, 
This is a 1973 film starring Steve McQueen and Dustin Hoffman with themes of incarceration, escape, and loyalty. And back here. I got the theme. <laughs> Shut the fuck up then. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell anybody. I just got it. Pat yourself on the back and shut up. <laughs> Sorry. I have brothers. It changed me. It should be turned into a mutant. <laughs> it does. It turns you into a mutant. Okay, number two is this 1995 film is based on a story by A.S. Byatt, starring Mike Mark Rylance and Kristen Scott Thomas with themes of incest, classism, feminism, and the study of science. Hey, where are you? Where are you, little fella? Oh, man, I'm having a hard time. There you are. I'm going to do two. I don't have to go through this more often. Copy. You can tell I'm old by how long it takes me to do this shit. All right. Number two. Oh, it said two. Uh, okay. Number two, the 1990 film. Fi okay. You got AS by it. Number three is 2008 film starring Queen Latifah, Alicia Keys, Jennifer Hudson, Dakota Fanning, and Sophie Okonedo. Themes of racism, child abuse, spousal abuse, and animal husbandry. Number four is 2002 film starring Richard Gere and Laura Linney theme of cryptid humanoid creature reportedly seen in West Virginia in the 1960s. I think we've mentioned this before, but it could be wrong. Let's see if I can get three in here. That'll be even more fun, huh? Copy. Zoomies. It's seven o'clock. Who's, who's seven that? Who's seven o'clocking? Somebody's computer That's said Fiona. that. Fiona. She's my clock. Lady, ah, it's Jane. It's Jane. Jane, Jane has, has to hire the woman to just stand at her home and announce the time. <laughs> and Celia is trying oh. to pop the tiaras with her lampshade. <laughs> Don't think it's gone unnoticed, Missy. Don't think. <laughs> Number five is a 1998 animated film with voices of Woody Allen, Gene Hackman, Sharon Stone, and Christopher Walken, with themes of existential crises, love, and individuality. Number six, a 1958 film remade in 1986, starring David Hedison, Vincent Price, and Herbert Marshall with themes of scientific research, obsession, and mercy killing. Number seven is a 1986 film starring Harrison Ford, Helen Mirren, and River Phoenix, themes of family dysfunction, emigration, obsession, and religious conflict. Well, obsession, yeah, who's not obsessed? I'm gonna try to squeeze all the rest of them in here. That'll work. I think they'll squeeze. Copy. Oh. Sorry, I'm having a I'm having a moment. There's a chat. Celia is now looking very angelic with her halo. <laughs> we've got uh okay, we've got Vincent Price. Number seven, number eight. 1988 comedy horror film starring Catherine O'Hara, Alec Baldwin, and Gina Davis with themes of death, hauntings, artsy jerks, and dysfunctional family. Number nine is a 2004 film starring Ashton Kutcher and Amy Smart, themes of time travel and childhood trauma. Number 10 is a 2009 foreign language film, crime thriller starring Numi Rapace and Michael Nykvist, based on a novel by Stieg Larsson with themes of government corruption, murder, rape, mayhem, body piercings, and more. All right, then. I don't have the theme. But I do. Good. That makes me so happy. <laughs> do I have powers? Because I can't tell. You should have powers. Do you want me to send people to the rooms for you? I just, it's because I have this on a half screen. Oh, wait, there's more. Host tools, host tools. Yeah, it would be a lot faster if you did. Thank you, Kat. Because I'm a moron. Well, here, I, I'm going to lay my hands on your, on your picture. And that will <laughs> give you the power. Thank you. You're so welcome. <laughs>
back. You're back. I'm back. I never know what to do once I call time. It's like, who am I going to go see now? You know, they're just going to yell at me. <laughs> now we need the time. <laughs> How are the teams doing? Um, there's a couple of teams that are doing great. And um, I, I think they're doing okay. I mean, I don't think it was a very hard category, but for some people who don't go to movies or, you know, sit around and watch their TV <laughs> like I do, it might be harder. Well, I watch a lot of movies and stuff, but I have such terrible recall of names. I just can't yeah. do it. I will go, oh, I can see them. I can see uh -huh. who it is. And... Well, I like, you know, this category has a theme. And if you get uh -huh. in a couple of them, then you'd get what, it makes it easier to come up right. with, pop up the names. So I here think. they all come. Here they all come. Right on. Don't forget that recording is in progress. Oh, thank you for thank that. Thank you, Vincent. Uh, right. and while I think of it, I will do that, uh, making you a co-host now. Oh, that would be appreciated. <laughs> uh, when you ask me before, I go do his stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, yay, it's a PowerPoint. Uh, you bet. You got to do PowerPoint. That's the whole thing. That's what makes it fun. If I display it on this screen, too, you could see. Number yeah. one. Oh, boy, I don't know how to do was this. I you think most, most of the teams got this. It's Papillon. Okay. But then you will be staring at the screen. You'll be looking off to the side. It's really weird. It's just okay, a mute that thing. German no. person. I know she's being, yeah, there we go. I muted her. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Peggy. Wow. Susan got muted in her own game. Wow. <laughs> so number one is Papillon. I saw most teams got this. Number two is Angels and Insects, which some teams got not sure how many this is a terrific film and very twisted if you can see it see it highly controversial mm. really twisted shit yeah um yeah number but three said, but you said that the, 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 a theme was incest not insects <laughs> <laughs> the theme of that movie was incest not insects uh. the theme of the of the entire presentation is insects mm. Hmm. Secret Life of Bees, which was a great novel and a mediocre film. Um, the Mothman Prophecies, which is a film which I admit I have not seen and only put in because it's an insect movie. Number four. Number five is Ants. Uh, I have a question on number four. Um, you don't mind if we... Not that it matters. Uh, we don't have the the in there. Does that really number matter? No, no, no points no. for you. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I think it should just be a rule that articles don't matter, but uh, no, Mothman yeah. Prophecies is fine. Okay, thanks. And ants, if you put in the ants, that'd be okay too. <laughs> <laughs> but it has to be a Z. <laughs> uh, we did do and that. This one is the oh, fly. Just out. <laughs> the fly. What, what if we had the the fly? What's the, the fly? The fly, the fly the guys. <laughs> Wasn't hey guys, I got that one because it was the only insect movie I'd ever heard of in my entire life. <laughs> oh, excellent. Yeah. Well, that I just this poster for the fly is yeah. such a great poster. I just yeah. adore wasn't it. There, yeah. Wasn't there a flick about uh, someone trying to fight answer. off the army ants in the in the Amazon? And then I found that my neighbors. Lanigan versus the ants. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Number seven is the mosquito mm. coast, which was a totally don't remember that. It was a movie. Well, that was, really on a that was the toughest one for our team. We, we, got, it. we got it. Great. Not, I just, can, but we, I just want to point out. I want to point out on the previous screen, a hundred pounds to anybody that could prove it can't happen that the fly could not happen. One hundred pounds to the first. Oh, don't you love that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It can't happen. It can't happen. <laughs> well, wonderful. Yeah. Well, there's easy money. What's the negative <laughs> proof, though? Yeah. Proving a negative. Mm -hmm. um, number eight is Beetlejuice. One which of my is favorite still movies. Just a great film to watch even now. Yeah, that's yeah. a lot of fun, that one. Number oh, nine is The Butterfly oh, Effect. Yeah, I have not seen this one either. Uh, I like that movie. Really? Okay, I should watch it, but I don't oh. know. I like the term, The Butterfly Effect. The mm -hmm. idea being that if a butterfly flaps its wing, it affects something across the world. Everything affects everything. Everything's connected. It's a good Number thing. 10 is yeah. the girl who kicked the hornet's nest, which yeah. is different from Ooh. the yeah, girl with yeah. the dragon tattoo. It had to have an insect in it. And this well, is the insect 
movie. But that what was if the that theme was, the was flying one? things. Then the dragon works. No, that's not the theme. It's, it's not the fly. Theme. It was Dance our theme. Don't fly. <laughs> Dance don't fly. My theme is really my team rocks. Yay! Yay! Oh, yeah. I'm so Yay. glad to hear that because that's my team. <laughs> is it the bees knees? Yeah, I think we did great it's the bees knees yes Susan it is the bees knees <laughs> I don't know it, it bugged me a little bit oh <laughs> yes. making me antsy oh my god <laughs> so All presumably right. presumably a bee has six knees yeah there, yeah so team number one what was your score well we did Peggy proud we pulled in a 10 Oh, thank you. All yeah, right, well, number well, two. The last couple were tough, but we did it. Nicely done. Uh, we got ten too. Ooh. What? So yeah. So say it to oh, her. There. Ten. Okay, Kamala is right. They're weird. Well, we were wrong on about half of ours. We got a five. Oh. <laughs> and may I ask what you thought the theme was? We insects. knew it was insects. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> not flying things. Thankfully, not the weird Republicans. How did you guys do? Well, we got a nine because our theme was flying things. <laughs> <laughs> and Scotus, flying ants. Its motto: "One is above the law." I. We had eight. Oh, very good. good so Scores. A nice uh, average of 8.4, and I will remember to share my screen next time because I don't think Susan so. So, who came time. in that we get on our team? You never share on the first time, Adrian. That's yeah. right. Gotta not share. So, did somebody come in? Did you take no, we were just hoping. Oh. We're just waiting with the little score. <laughs> when somebody comes in, you get me later. Isn't that bad enough? Where <laughs> okay. were you when we needed to? Soon enough. And for round number two, Vincent. Oh, boy, are you guys in for We've been now? promised singing. Yeah, I was going to say, are you singing again? I am singing. <laughs> you guys are in it. Glad I'm recording. Okay, so number one. Oh, and uh, the... Um, uh, I'm enjoying the fact um, that I'm having okay. Category <laughs> is... Uh, karaoke singing i couldn't come up with anything <laughs> clever, so. okay well i have a question did uh -oh. you put the answers in the chat why oh, yes, peggy thank you and thank you for having oh. me cindy because i do need to post all the questions and everything into the spreadsheet so that's one of my jobs i'm going to post the answers i'm sorry i haven't done that yet yeah thank you very much Oops. she was busy with her beautiful powerpoint <laughs> Right. No, it's okay. It was uh, okay. So I'm gonna sing first and then do the chat after. <laughs> chat after. This is the craziest group of people. So are we guessing song title? Are we guessing artist? Uh, both. Both. We're just listening, chat. Oh. It's a performance. There's no oh, okay. Answer. So everybody gets a 10 for paying attention. Awesome. Good to know. Sure. Both meaning either or, or we need both of them to get the point. No, no, no. Either or. Okay, yeah. thank you. Uh, number one has two answers. Unmuted. Because of the last sentence. Every morning you greet me, small and white, clean and bright. You look happy to meet me, blossom of snow. May you bloom and grow, bloom and grow forever. Bless homeland forever. Last sentence is a clue. So two answers. What do you mean two answers? No, no, no. There's two answers to it, but one one answer. He's accepting two answers. Two answers. What is the you want the name or the artist or both or what? Either one and either title of the song. Yeah. Um spelling there, doesn't yeah. count. There are a lot of songs count. that have to, have two sets of words to them. Uh okay. Um, 
I left out the title in the song on purpose. Okay. Okay. Uh, this one I know better. This is the life of illusion, wrapped up in trouble, laced in confusion. What are we doing here? And that's it. That's all you get. <laughs> For that one. That one's kind of easy. Oops. Got to copy. Then paste. There. Oh. Shoot. That's uh, number two. Number two. Don't do the number one. Number two. I don't know why it did that. Because you've got a space in between. You're telling us to do number two? No, no. That's <laughs> number two. <laughs> Not quite. Oh. No. <laughs> All right. Number three. Some people long for a life that is simple and planned. Tied with a ribbon, some people won't sail the sea because they're safer on land. To follow what's written, but I'd follow you to the great unknown. Off to a world we call our own. That's it. Shoot. This is not going to work. Let me know why I did that. Damn it. This is not number one, it is number three. <laughs> And I know why it's doing that, but I cannot change it. Word does that. It's a real pain. It's, 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 I say that every day. Yeah. Maybe maybe you're better off using Notepad. <laughs> well, you know what I ended up doing was writing out the numbers instead of viewing them as numbers. That's so a I great. Wrote idea. out two, three, four. I know that's a pain too, but I could try that. It's an option. I'll try that. Okay. But it'll still put in one. So right. One, then it'll say one and then four. four. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. From the day so. we arrive on the planet and blinking step into the sun, there's more to see than can ever be seen. More than more to do than can ever be done. There is far more much to take in here. More to find than can ever be found. But the sun rolling high through the sapphire sky keeps great and small on the endless round. That's it. So number one again. <laughs> four. Oh, I put four. But it'll put one in there, but it's four. So it'll uh, four one. Yeah. This one is this one is kind of my favorite. I'm going to copy and paste first before I sing it. And I'm hoping that. There will, if you know the song, people will come in on the um, uh, chorus part. Oh, I have to put five first. So it's basically you guys can join in. This is such bad music. <laughs> Asking us to sing. Is it? Oh, well. Is it happy birthday? No, <laughs> it's not. 
We what? suck a lot at that one. Yeah. Okay. You look like a monkey and you have okay, so it's actually Kevin. five. Kevin. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Just checking. Just checking. Kind of, I'm listening. What kind of ma what kind of magic spell to use? Slime and tails or puppy dogs' tails, thunder or lightning. And the baby said, dance, magic, dance, magic, dance, dance, magic, dance. Put the baby spell on me. Jump, magic, jump, jump, magic, jump. Put the magic jump on me. Slap the baby, make him free. The last line I don't understand, but that, well, that's what... Is, but is it something to do with the tradition of slapping the baby? Is is it uh, uh, to make it breathe the first time? Oh, maybe. Oh, Don't give it away, Jim. That's a tra tradition in Canada. They sing that song every time the baby is born before they smack it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's no, it's right after the bris, and they say, "Hey, shut up." <laughs> so this number set number. Number six, I want where the where the title is. So I want the the play because in the song already has the title in it. If you know what it is, so I want just the play. Uh, the river was deep, but I swam it, Janet. The future is ours, so let's plan it, Janet. So please don't let, so please don't tell me to can it, Janet. I've got one thing to say, that's damn it, Janet. I love you. Again, this one is. Uh, what, what did you say you, before you sang the song, what did you say you want specifically? The title, the, the, the. the you know it's from where it's from because the song title is already in the song so mm -hmm. got it yeah. okay yeah. oops i did cut ah oh, damn it <laughs> janet not <laughs> doing well yeah well mm. and i and i put it in the song anyways and the same with this one. I want to know what uh, movie it comes from. It's not a play. Be our best. Be our guest. Put your service to the test. Tie your napkin around the neck, cherry. And we'll provide the rest. That's right. Soup de jour. Hors d'oeuvres. Come on. Why we only live to serve. Woohoo. Try the gray stuff. That's delicious. Don't believe me. Ask the dishes. <laughs> that's it. Make the dishes. <laughs> it's pernicious. Sure. Was that was that seven? That was seven. <laughs> oh, that show. Copy. Paste. Yay. I hope I got that right. Yep, I did. Now this next one is kind of special. There are essentially two answers to it, but I just want the answer to what movie it belongs to and just as a factoid, and if you know it, it's not worth a point, but, you know, you can pat yourself on the back if you get it. The singer who sang it in this particular movie. Oh, let's see if I can do this. My gift is my song. And that one's for you. And you can tell everybody this is your song. It may be quite simple, but I know that it's done. I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind that I put down in words how wonderful life is. 
when you're in the world. So you're looking for the artist in that case? No, 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 no. I'm looking for what movie it's played, what movie it's sung in. And as not really a bonus, but as in like, hey, if you know it, great. Who sang it? So that I know, but I can't think of the movie, but I'll stop right there. <laughs> ah, but only, but you only get the point if you know what, what movie this is from. This one is from a play. The number nine is, is a play. Softly, deftly, music shall caress you. Hear it, feel it, secretly possesses you. Open up your mind, let your fantasies unwind. In the darkness which you know you cannot fight. The darkness of the music of the night. Sorry, I rushed through that, but. Do you, can, do you, do, what do you have, do we have two, two answers that do you want the play or the? Just, just the play. Are you talking for number eight? The one, the one you just did. Uh, nope, just the play. Karen's illus dancing illustrations are cracking me up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. Keep doing it. I love it. Okay, this one I might tear up. Oh. 525,600 minutes, 525,000 moments so dear, 525,600 minutes, how do you measure, measure a year? Oh, good singing. Well, for that one, only, <laughs> only because I practiced it. <laughs> that was actually the song that I did record. I was going to do it, the full song, afterwards, but then I heard myself and it's like, no, even I was torturing myself. So, could have been in the show. Yeah, so I wasn't going to do it. Anyways, I just want the play for that one. All right. Hey. Okay, now I can I can do this. I can do this. Everybody go to your breakout rooms. There's no questions, right? Because if there is, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. All right, I'm going to join your room. Great category, Vincent. Yeah, well done. Adrian, are you sticking around or do you want me to text you? No, I just finished copying and pasting everything in. So text me away. Thank you very much. Awesome. Will do. And I wanted to hear Vincent sing. <laughs> Jamie, you know where you're supposed to go? Yep. Okay. Oh, well, here we go. You got it.
progress. Sorry, I was neglectful in my duties to uh, get our wonderful hostess back here. I just texted her. <laughs> <laughs> She'll join us really, really quick. <laughs> yeah. I hope. Otherwise, you can start giving answers. Um, She'll be here by the time we're ready to sure. work this course. Okay. Adrian, Adrian is off camera. Yeah, yeah she'll, she's on her way back. I just texted her. I should have done that while we were in the breakout room. But, she's know. packing. 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 Uh, all right, so. We had like 28 seconds left. I'm like, oh shoot, I got a text. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I put my phone away, right? Because you don't play with your phone. You're doing trivia. So I think everybody got uh, number one right. Yeah. Uh, you my cookie right. clock, but it's playing right now. So I was looking for, obviously, people knew it was from The Sound of Music, um, but it was also in The Man in the High Castle. Oh. Which yeah. was in Rob's uh, thing yeah. last week or two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. So, how did they work that into the Man in the High Castle? Because it was in the very beginning, and there were the some words that were changed. Yeah. Mm. It was the opening theme song. Uh, yes. And somewhere, and the, and I, uh, yeah. So, well, the Man in the High Castle was a, an, alternate, an alternate thing where the Axis won World War II. Yes. Yeah, I figured out how, they, how that would fit in. <laughs> yeah, but anyway. Yeah. So number two is huh. is the Wait, word, what? and oh, of course it. it comes from the the play Greece. Oh, very good, excellent. Yeah. Too excited about that. So number three is Tightrope uh, from the uh, show The Greatest Showman oh, by Michelle right. No idea. Yep. Yeah. We got that wrong. Now this was the title of the song was sufficient. Mm. Right? Yeah. The title of the song would be sufficient. You do not have to get both answers. So the greatest showman does it, right? Yep, that would do it. Okay. I don't know how I missed this one, but it's the circle of life, not live. I don't know why <laughs> I did that, but and it's from the Lion King. So yeah. The circle of life, not live. Let's see, isn't that Trump the Lion yeah. King? Yep. Circle of life. King. <laughs> circle of life. <laughs> yep, and I don't know why. I think I think some people got number five. I hope they did. Uh, I hope my team did. Uh, it's it is magic dance, and it's from the movie Labyrinth. Yes, Caspian and Jamie knew that. Yeah. Mm. David Bowie. Yeah. 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 It's okay. I'll easily get to it. Six. Oh, number six. six. The Rocky Horror okay. Picture Show. You are right. Yeah. One of the few I knew. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was me too. Me too. It's like Somehow, once you've heard that, damn it, Janet, you'll never forget it for the rest of your life. 
Even yeah, if you just like, once. Yeah. Like, like I only saw the fl flick once. Uh, yeah. Not, uh, yeah. Within a few years after it came out. <laughs> Number seven, Beauty and the Beast. Number I eight. did send. My team actually got number eight, so I'm leaving it in. The others that didn't get it, too bad. <laughs> Which one was that? One Rouge. He's not accepting lock of answer. Good job. Moulin Rouge, and the singer was Owen Gregor. It's you and McGregor. Or you and McGregor. Whatever. Which is E U A N. Me and oh. Me and McGregor. No, I got the right spelling. I looked it up. <laughs> Fun fact, you and McGregor could have been on this play. Hold on, hold on a second. You can look at this up. That song was also performed in the Elton John biopic Rocket Man. Rocket Man, by yeah. Edgerton. Yeah. That's what that's what we had too. It is also seem to have that, so yeah, everybody gets the point. Yeah. Yay. All right. Yeah. Like, Thank I, you. Said, I thought I, it's probably I not other... I am not going to argue. But... That's what I would have said. I would have said Rocket Man too. Yeah. Oh, well, but my and team was got it right. Why was there a <laughs> sequel? Who's the science? Uh, Adrian, was there a Alan sequel to Rocket Man? Alan uh -huh. said, <laughs> right. joke. Okay, so number nine was every living creature tonight. Oh no, Imogen died. Uh, Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> got it. Everybody got that. Music of the night. Yeah. Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. Yay. Yay. And my favorite one, some people got it. I know the song, don't know where it goes or where, what, what it's from. You can you rent know. it pretty cheap these days. Yeah. <laughs> <Nice. Thank you. laughs> Seasons of Love. Oh, I'm so sorry, my team. Oh, I'm so sorry. What did you say, Peggy? I said chorus line. Ah. Oh. Which way? Because I never saw a rent. Back and forth argument about course line versus rent. I bet you were thinking of what I did for love, right, Peggy? I don't know what I was thinking. I just felt, felt like I'd heard that song forever and that would have made it a chorus line. And watching that show no, no felt words. like 525,600 nah. minutes. <laughs> Pretty much any musical for me feels that way. <laughs> was it? All right. Sorry, Jane. I'm listening like, to Jane. Every, everybody defers to Jane from now on. So I, like I guess you know, she's on our team. Hey, that's it. We're done. Thanks, Vincent. Great job. Let's get some scores. We're going to get some I scores. I hope that my singing wasn't that bad. It was wonderful. Oh, it was great. Oh, All right. So I guess Karen's we... dancing was awesome. It, that was the yeah. highlight. Yeah. Karen dancing. was dancing to it. I love it. <laughs> Okie doke. So uh, we will start with Kamala is right. They're weird. <laughs> we got seven. Ooh, good improvement. And next we will go to SCOTUS changed its motto. No, I mean, one is above the law. Eight. Oh, no, one is above the law. I get it, I think. And um, uh, thankfully, not the weird Republicans. We got a binary two. No, it's a ten. I was just gonna say, hold on, I have to go back. Uh, it's been so long since I've done that. But <laughs> you're a math major. <laughs> yeah, and I actually the, originally I thought ten, and but I typed two because I heard two, and that's what my finger did. All right, all right. So let's go to next. I guess we'll do. We are the best team since Abraham Lincoln. Get eight. eight. Because I said something stupid. Oh, it's pretty good. And say it to her face. Vincent's team. How did you do? Doo -doo. Nine. Ooh. Nine. I thought we got ten. Oh. Which one did we miss? The greatest right. showman. Oh, right. Yes. Oh, look at that. Another average of 8.4. Two rounds in a row. Ooh, with totally different numbers. Yes. It's so did, did someone average. come in to join our team? That I, is interesting. Although Susan's going to be so upset at these high scores. I know. I love them. Damn man. it. I, the Damn new it. Susan is really Damn happy. It. Damn it, Susan. <laughs> so, if you guys come to take a picture, you guys come all over to the camera to take a picture. 
Are they ready for us to take a picture? Oh, yeah, we got oh, a picture. Yeah, picture, picture time. Well, give me a second. I'm here. One oh. other thing, though. Will you take the picture? Thank you, Susan. Yeah. Elton John's Your Song, as performed by Elton John, also is in the yeah, sound. It sits down normal. It's just and Juliet. And <laughs> yeah. are you, are, do you want me to take the picture, Susan, or are you taking it? I, we said you, that too, Mike. Somebody else take it. Okay, I will take it. Just a second. Because I just heard you saying, I'm here. I thought you were taking the picture. So I apologize. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, everybody. Say cheese. Cheese. Get her. Oh, how come it didn't work? What the heck? <laughs> Go. Oh, it. Oh, that's weird. Okay. I got it. It's weird. It's weird. It's weird. weird. It's it definitely the weird. official adjective of the. Oh, of I know why. I had a timer set the other day. That's what's mm -hmm. going on. A time delay. <laughs> so I long. Quit. Everyone. <laughs> okay. So we'll do that again. And this time when I say cheese, it'll capture it. Say cheese. Craft cheese. dinner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wonderful. Okay. I think I've got everybody here. Send it over. Dinner. And I will send it over to you. You bet. Okay. Easter. How does it look? Damn it. Janet, I love you. <laughs> All right. Five minutes, well, everybody. I guess five minutes is break time. I'm calling it five an East Coast night. Good night, everyone. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. For all who are leaving. All right. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for a little bit. Thanks, Thanks Vincent. Alan, I was going to suggest to, to you for your son, if, you, if he really loves to teach and he teaches math and he's looking for an academic job, don't eliminate the community colleges. One of the big advantages to working, having spent 40 years teaching in a community college, is they don't expect you to do research, although you may. It's the job is basically teaching. And math is one of the areas that community college students are woefully deficient in. Mm -hmm. um, the problem is, I, I, I know he's not interested, except uh, while he's here this year, uh, while he's home, he'll, uh, he, he, he's going to look and see if he can get, maybe do a little adjunct teaching for a, uh, and that's the other thing. That's what they're at. They're looking for, they're looking for adjuncts. It's a, it's a shitty job. Mm -hmm. And because, uh, you know, you, uh, you, you have no benefits and, and, and they don't pay anything. He's really not interested uh, for that. I think he just assumed go to the high schools because mm -hmm. he's first of all he wants to do the research. Um, he enjoys the research, uh, and uh, and um, he, he I don't think he wants to teach that level. He wants to teach at a higher level. So so, I mean he'll okay. he'll be here in a couple of weeks. You can talk to him. Um, well, community I, college is human. Community colleges hire full time faculty, right? I mean, I was do. not adjunct. I taught full time, and they pay better some... than the universities because yeah. they don't have the prestige of the university. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I mean, I, I, you know, certainly, I, yeah, I should you, he should talk to you anyway. Uh, I mean, see what options are out there. I mean, he's going to be home. He'll probably be home for the better part of the the, the year. So, uh, you know, and he'll be, you know, he'll be here in a couple of weeks. So, um, but. Uh, uh, you know, he, he's looking, he, I think he'd most like to be in like a, a mid-size, mid-size college near, near something, near a city, you know? So, um, uh, and there, there are, uh, plenty of, uh, community colleges around here, you know? So, um, you know, there are, well, there, uh, are there are over a thousand community colleges in the United States. Yeah. And, and I think half of them, half of them are community. in, half of them, I think are in Chicago. I mean, there are, <laughs> there seems like a million of them here, but, um. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, he's a he's a big boy. He can he can figure it out. So. Well, it's it's just it's just an option he might not have thought of, which is why I'm suggesting it. And seriously, if you like to teach, it's the teaching place, and you can teach. You know, community colleges right now not only they attract diversity, which makes it a challenging teaching. They're the people who barely got through high school and want some more credits or are working on some. Degree in in the in the in in the areas that only require an associate's degree. So we had a lot of people who were working in the like to become an electrician or some such job, but they are also the best option 
for the really, really bright student who is going to transfer to a big deal, too expensive school, and they can't afford it. Yeah. So they will spend the first two years at a community college and transfer. So I had students, we were in, a, we were in Flint, Michigan, at the community college. Yeah. And those students that transferred, that got a transfer degree and transferred, usually went to the University of Michigan, which is a prestigious school, right? Yeah. And yeah. we once did the data that the University of Michigan wasn't very happy about. It turned out that our graduates had a higher average grade point average in their junior and senior year than the ones who started at the University of Michigan. And we weren't surprised about that because they weren't less bright in any way or less motivated in any way. They just couldn't afford some of the higher prices. And in community colleges, our classes were always limited to 35 students. That was a maximum size. Well, that's what I that's what I was thinking. It'd be the it'd be the size of the class because you go to a you go to a Michigan and uh, you got five hundred kids, you know, in a class in, so, in the uh, freshman and sophomore classes. So we yeah. had we gave them the better first two years, so they yeah. did better in their junior and senior year because they had real faculty for their first two years, not a graduate student or a, a huge lecture hall. So community uh -huh. colleges are a challenging teaching experience. And like I said, they, you're not required to do research, although you may in most of them, and they reward doing research, but your teaching load is heavier. You know, I was teaching four or five classes every semester. Yeah. I, I, I that, well, you know what? I mean, I'll mention it to Avi, but you'll talk to him. You know, he'll be back. I, I'm sure he'd be glad to talk to you about that. I mean, he's, he's pretty open to a lot of things. I know what he'd like to have, but, but, you know, things change. So, um, you know, who knows, you know, but, uh, but I can verify the, 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 the uh, salary difference, because at that time I was married to a man who taught for the University of Michigan. When I got the job at the community college, we were yeah. both, he was a little more advanced than I was because he was 10 years older than me. So he yeah. had gone further and he had done the research and so forth. And in the first and that next year, I had a higher salary than he did. Really? And that's because the community college doesn't have the prestige of the university. Yeah. So if you're going to be in a university with a huge grant, because, you know, you're being supported by someone, you can get enormous salaries. But community college salaries, because it's not based on research, it's only based on teaching. They're usually pretty uniform. In fact, we had, we even had a union. So we, it was very uniform. I mean, you yeah. were paid based on your academic degree. And how many and and how and how many years of experience you had? Period. And I could tell well, you any well, salary if you told me those two things. I mean, that's uh, if that that will probably benefit Avi because he's had like this is already I think five years of postdoc. You know, he's got a doctoral degree, um, but I always thought that you know he does you know to to get what he's got. You know, he does se uh, a four years undergrad, seven years to get his PhD. Uh, he's done five years of. Uh, of um of uh uh whatever he's of of postdoc then he would hopefully get a, a tenure position and after two or three years or whatever it is he gets his tenure it's time to retire <laughs> so uh see that's and this is this is a question of do you want to be a big fish in a small pond or a small fish in a big pond right you know well he's the, the yeah he's college not, where, he does not want to be he does not, he's not interested in like a, a University of uh, 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 Michigan or any of the, of the, meg, the like the big 10 schools. He, he you know, gets swallowed up. He, he's saying that there's, there's also just, there's too much pressure to, to publish and the research and all that stuff. Right. He, he wants to do the research though. And that's, that was his concern. If he, if he went into industry, he'd be, would he be able to do some research, but he's got some friends who have done just that they've managed to you know get get a job in industry but also teach at community colleges in the evening and uh, and 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 are doing some research so we'll see that might be a perfect option for him if he wants to do that because community colleges are always always desperate for people to teach in math and science yeah yeah especially well, on a on a on a part-time basis I mean, worst comes to worst, he can work for like Merck or something like that. Yeah. Okay.
You found nah. you fall asleep. Did you fall asleep? <laughs> nope, doing the, the crossword puzzle. So yeah. Karen there was showing us the cat, all those childless cat ladies out there. <laughs> Well, I sure as hell hope there's enough of them to, uh, when yeah. it comes to the agenda. I love some of the memes that have been out there. Oh, man, there's been some really good ones. Yeah. Some, yeah, some amazing ones. And, I you know, I, I want to say at some point in the course of this evening, you know, because my husband and I were just up at a trip to British Columbia, just a teeny wee bit of Canada. But I will tell you, Canadians are so awesome. Aww. It's, it's such a great time. I mean, I knew that already, but... Yeah. There you it, go. It was, it was my husband's first time in in Canada, and you know he's an immigrant from the Caribbean, and so did he. It, honestly, he felt he felt less foreign up there in British Columbia than California. Well, yeah, yeah, but you it know what? You weird, didn't go, but... you didn't go to somewhere like like Calgary where you got just a bunch of cowboys, you know. So it's no, uh... no you've got a lot of princesses. <laughs> Princess <laughs> <laughs> Celia, well, were you in Vancouver or Victoria? Uh, well, both. We, oh, we, right. we, well, we drove. We drove from yeah. California. So we, you know, we saw a lot and we were gone it, a few weeks. It's uh, a hard drive. It's a hard drive to Victoria. Uh, it really is. <laughs> well, there was a health Actually, of a ferry. But we yeah, went you just first... drive on a ferry and drive off. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we went first, um, you know, once we'd gotten through, you know, Oregon and Washington, we went, went first to Vancouver and then we went uh, east a little bit you know it's a huge province but it's we went big, yeah. east to the Fraser River Valley oh yes and went um you know went up the went up the valley up the river a bit and then came da down through you know Whistler back to Vancouver oh, so you did the Duffy Lake Road route it was really beautiful it's yeah. so yeah. beautiful yeah so we did the 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 sky to, to see, the, see sky? the sky backwards yeah. we did the sky to see <laughs> And then um, <laughs> took a ferry over to Nanaimo and then, um, you know, down to Victoria. Yep. And then finally took the ferry from Victoria to, you know, Port Angeles, Washington. And I it was it was really members. nice. But it, um, but yeah, it was, um, you know, like I said, we've all know that the Canadians are are very polite and friendly and nice and stuff. But it was just really nice for him that they also understood his accent better interesting <laughs> yeah yeah which <laughs> yeah it is kind of interesting and they as i say they just sort of i guess well maybe partly because we were tourists anywhere anyway well, and a, we're, we're living to... here but they seem to treat him less foreign than interesting ever. well we have such a multicultural melting pot here mm -hmm. and we're used to having to understand a lot of different accents so that might be what it is might have something to do with yeah. it or... Uh, uh, yeah, and also curiously, he found Canadian accents easier for him to understand <laughs> than American accents. What Canadian accents? Huh. <laughs> they yeah. did, and they found in and, and they understood his accent easy more That's easily. That's really interesting. Yeah, and yeah, it was. It really, hmm. it really kind of was. And I would have thought that it would be a more foreign than California. Yeah, yeah. No, Canada's no, a no. Cool. But I'm biased though, right? So okay, of course, go. of course. Yeah. Well, but, um, I, yeah, we had a we had a I'm really glad. really good time. Well, yeah, thanks for sharing that because uh, it makes us Canadians feel good. <laughs> I guess our our usual five minutes went on to ten fifteen. Is that kind of what happened? <laughs> My garden deeply appreciates the extra few minutes because I was out watering. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we have severe watering restrictions up here right now, so uh, we we water when we can and. Yeah, they're, they're at the back. moment, I think we're being flooded. Oh, can you send some uh, our way? We need some. Please. So Between the any... heat and grossness. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are there any announcements from anybody? I guess Susan, is, uh, she have a, probably no writing. And Rob, of course, Rob's not here. He usually has lots of announcements. He's, But those of you who weren't here when I was telling everybody he's away because it's his 42nd winning anniversary tonight. So I think that's pretty cool. And I guess all that we have for announcements then very briefly would be the Skeptic Zone podcast. And it's going to be an interesting one. How many of you people have heard of access consciousness before or access bars? If you haven't, or even if you have, stay tuned to the Skeptic Zone because Kat and I go down that rabbit hole big time. And it's a two-parter. It's so rabbity holy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, you got it to two, did you? 
Uh, yeah, well, I I did it in three, but I said to Richard, it would be like eight minutes each or seven and eight minutes each for this set part two and three, or you combine it for just under 16 minutes. And he chose to do the 16 minutes twice. So they're fairly long. They're longer than the usual segments. So two 16 minute segments, unless he chops them, he may chop them. So that that's all, always possible. The final- But it's your loons from Canada. <laughs> yes. So the loons from Canada are going to talk about that. And I will be reading the Australian Skeptics Newsletter as well. And there will be a trove. I be Oh, no. Trove was firewalking last week. I don't remember what it is this week, Mike, because I don't have a brain. Any other announcements that I've forgotten about? Carolyn, do you have anything coming up? No. Um, the only thing is um, I am going to be giving an online lecture um, for Ollie at the Pacific in next month. So. Oh, and Coleman, you know how uh, Coleman I met at Trivia last week? And I said that I was going to Iceland, and he texted me afterwards and went, hey, I'm going to Iceland too. Yeah. What's really funny, he's taking a cruise on the celebrity eclipse from New York to Iceland, and then he gets off, and an hour later, we get on the same ship. Wow. <laughs> We're literally... <laughs> Is he going to leave you graffiti somewhere? Yeah, that's what. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, we'll he'll sit. Yeah, that would be fun. Leave me notes all over the place and see if I can find them. <laughs> but yeah, so we are because we are docked in in Reykjavik for two nights. So we will spend a night, and we, I'm going to get together with them and have dinner with him and his oh, wife. Oh, um, have fun. you been to Iceland before? I have never been to Iceland. Oh. So Jamie, oh. don't come because I think disasters. <laughs> 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 Oh, but we've been there. Uh, Jamie uh, comes, we there'll be volcanoes. Susan said Jamie's not allowed. Yeah. No. But we've been there so many times. We, we, oh, we, we, many we, times? Yeah, we were members. That we were members of Iceland Air. So every time on business travels, when I go um, east, either to Asia or Europe, we'd always fly through Iceland. So you have to go to the Blue Lagoon if it's open, of course. I think it's been shut down as far as I know. <clears throat> Yeah. It's so beautiful there. Yeah, it, I think I think it's been lavered. So, oh, I, I, yeah. but I don't know if it'll reopen. I know a month ago when I looked, it was closed, and really? so we'll see. It I was see, on our tour, yeah. But Iceland is beautiful. Um, so but what Jamie, we did was, yeah. Is there a statute of limitations on the Jamie effect? Yeah, that's what like, I'm worried it's about. It's been so long since you're there. Is are you do you no longer represent the danger? Yeah, it's been at least ten years since I've been there. So I'll Probably hopefully good. post some photos. Uh, yeah, so 10 years, is that hopefully that'll be enough, right? Right, Jamie? Because oh, usually it's, it's the year after that the disasters right. happen, wasn't it? Uh, the same year, yeah. Same year. Yeah. <laughs> so of course, the, the full Jamie effect, the disaster happens after he leaves. That's right. After. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's why I said don't go anytime soon. You know, like yeah, next we week. <laughs> yeah, we will get, we'll, we'll keep away from Iceland for the next two weeks. Okay, thank, thank you so thank much. You much All right, so who's number number three? That would Alan. be Alan. It's Alan's turn. Oh, I've got to give Alan his... Uh, got to give him powers. Powers. Here we go. You are now an yeah. official co-host. I'm trying not to pitch anything, so I'm not going to... Oh. <laughs> I'm here. Okay. I don't want to lose it. Yeah. Okay. And Carl, I'll give Carl's him. Oh, I already gave Carl his. And geez. okay. All right. Um, I think in keeping with everybody, everybody else, I, I, I think the scores will be reasonably high here. But uh, I, I don't know. I hope these uh, are not too great. Average eight point four. So. Yeah. Um, okay. Or we could so. have two more rounds of four point eight, just to mirror it. Oh, that'd be fun. Okay, so um, this this is the the topic. It's a trivia hodgepodge. Mm -hmm. So not nothing in particular. Um, okay, so let's see if I can actually remember how to do this. So I'm going to do this and do this, and I do um, do that, and do this, do this, and do this. Then I am going to put a one here okay so what brand of luggage was featured in the olympic uh opening ceremonies of this year's olympics all right that's number one let's see 
number two. Okay. Uh, uh, if you have a good enough of uh, a, a variety of people in your in your your team, you'll get most of these, I think. All right, uh, this is two. I want to get the numbering correct here. All right, in Canadian football. Why are the goalposts placed on the goal line, unlike American football, where they are at the back of the end zone? Pasted. Uh, wait, wait. After, after I read it, Rob. Oh, it's before. Can I? Can I ask or to point of clarification? It's I, I may not. I may not tell you anything. What? <laughs> All right. You. You can. You can deny this comment or question, but, but I'll try. To, I'll ask it anyway. Um, Canadian. Football, football, soccer. Even not even the question no, can soccer. help your can help your opponent, Celia. No, she. Yeah. That's yeah. a good question from Celia, and it's not soccer. It's like American football, same idea, but just different. Excuse rules. me, I don't. I, I you, you, someone on your team should know that. If not, too bad. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, you you have no you get no sympathy for me for that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome you. to you're welcome to ask anything you want, but um, okay. What is this? This is number three. Yeah, so, yeah. Alan, try and paste first because some people. I think is it Janine particularly likes it, and I do too, actually. Okay, fine. thank you. What yeah. what is this? Three? Are we at three? We're at three. We're at three. We're at three. And um, European football has nets, not goalposts. There. Well, that's like uh, explaining handball. Would you talk about handball in the court or your uh, European handball? Okay. Uh, by the way, if you've never watched it, you should watch that game. It is very cool. Um, okay, number three. What nationality was Andre the Giant? Oh, this really is a hodgepodge. Let's yes, uh, yes, it, definitely. Okay. Um, now let's see. All right, copy and paste. Um, Okay, and this is number four, correct? Yes. You just make sure I'm. Uh... It's the one after okay. three. Yeah. Uh, where'd I go? Um, okay, and Susan's favorite uh, word game the puzzle editors of Wordle choose their words from a database of how many common five letter words. 2,315, 3,212, 5,610, 6,021. What was the smallest number? Oh, but it's yes. under. Yes, makes sense. Okay. Yep. All right. There is much. Okay. Thank you. All right. And number five and number five. Five. Let me just mark. We get the numbers in here. Um, okay. Muted. Here we go. Number five. What is the nationality of NHL Florida Panthers captain Alexander Barkov? All right. Here you go. And this is number six. Okay. Um, oops, here it is. Okay. What was the year of NASA's first space shuttle launch? And let's, here we go. Number seven. Okay. The first modern Olympics were held in Athens, Greece. Where were the second held? All right. Here we go. And uh, what is this? This is what number um, eight. 
yeah, hold on. I'm just, I'm trying to do this. Maybe I'll do it here. Sorry, I'm just, okay. Okay. Um, I apologize, I guess. Um, here, let me um, let's see what comes up here. All right. Um, that's really weird. Um, okay. Instead of, uh, let, okay, I'll explain this in a second. All right. Okay. During the 1936 Berlin Olympics, Jesse Owens famously won gold in the 100 meter dash. Who finished second by a mere point one, like one tenth of a second, adding insult to injury for one A Hitler? Uh, this should have been A B C D, but uh, but it's not. I, I don't know why it came out this way. So first you have Granger Pirtle from Great Britain, Ralph Metcalf, United States, Adam Grossman from the Netherlands. Farrell Funston from Canada. Which one finished second? Much to the displeasure of A. Hitler. Okay. And this is A. Hitler, not the Hitler. <laughs> A. Hit any old Hitler. Okay. Uh, or or no Hitler. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. And this is why that that's so weird. The nine came out. It's, it's okay. Uh, all right. Neil deGrasse Tyson, whoever he is, lettered in what sport at Harvard? All right. And here you go. Uh, last and least. Um, let's, uh, whoops. Three, three, six, seven. I don't know why the numbers are coming out right now. Okay. Number 10. Natalie Wood was a profession, proficient swimmer and former lifeguard casting doubt that she uh, drowned trying to get into an inflatable dinghy. True or false? Wow. And uh, there you have it. Where's that number eight? Pardon me? Is there a number eight? Seven yeah. is the Olympics. That's the Berlin Olympics one. It's okay. Six, Hi, Paula. All right. Oh, did okay. I, did I screw up? Oh, oh, I, oh, I'm one sorry. I didn't, I didn't change that number. Yeah, eight, eight is the Olympics. Oh, the Olympics. Okay. Yeah, sorry the, about that. The answer there is who came in second. Yeah. Correct. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for it, and it was, and he just added insult to injury for one A Hitler. Wow. Okay. Go have fun. You and, uh, shall not be named. And okay, do, uh, you know what? Who, uh, uh, Here you go. Adrian, I'll open it for you. Can, does somebody have? Yeah, can somebody do that for me? There you go. And then who's going to add Paula to the what team? Hello. I can add Paula. Carl is on it. Well, I don't want to join a team yet because I didn't hear any of the questions. Hi, Paula. Hey, Paula. I'll be in the chat. Paula, Paula is on the team, and well, Caspian are off camera. Have it written uh, down. Okay. okay. Where do I, uh, uh, Adrian? I forget. I'm where do I need to end up at the end? Uh, you yeah. can end up anywhere because you you'll have control, or, or I can move you over. It doesn't matter. So just. Oh, so I'll get back. I'll get back home here. Okay. Okay. Paula, we'll you'll appreciate this. Paula. Jamie is covered with cats. So I need in, in the green chair. Can you guys remember what the teams got? Because something weird happened with the yes, I have one them written team down. got the low one. What us us team three were way behind. Yeah. And uh, okay, yeah, that's right. So we'll get Paula on there for we're you. Leaving. Books, Mark's book. Team three. We've been trying. We've been working for her. <laughs> um, breakout rooms and I will assign oh, I only heard one question if it's about the Olympics I'm not going to help out too much oh, no there's only one question on the Olympics it's like a hodgepodge okay. of all sorts of things so okay. have fun
What is the depth of a Canadian football league end zone? You guys, I just got a news flash on my phone that the American, the prisoners the, that were released from Russian prison in the Russian prisoner swap are back in the United States. They landed at the um, Andrews, it says Joint Base Andrews in Maryland. Okay. Yeah, they, they're doing it on the television right now. They're just showing the landing. I was, Kudos to, kudos to Biden. Has Trump taken credit for it somehow? Yeah, yeah he, he did. He already oh, yeah, did. Oh, he, is. oh he, he would have done it. He would have done it months ago. Yeah. 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 He would have no, done it. Without now. any record, yeah. without any, what do they call it? Conditions. Like prisoner exchange. He would have gotten prisoner exchange. And so he would have given a long now. Off too. Imagine the families. Mm -hmm. Really, just thinking. Oh, we have answers. Oh, no. nobody should be ever anywhere near Russia, ever. Russia's yeah, some stupid reporter was trying to trap. Um, and I don't. I usually have a lot of respect for journalists, but somebody was trying to trap um, President Biden by saying, "Well, you know, like what you know should." It's something about um um well what what should, what what why didn't he say something about get you know like not having them people Americans get into trouble if they go into Russia anymore and he said just tell them that that you know give them the heads up like if you go there this might happen to you yeah yeah we didn't have any problems there. Can no, I tell a fun fact, already, aren't fun you? fact before we start answers that Vincent's going to love? Hmm. For the Olympics, the Canadian equestrian team fly their horses on a special jet, and it's called Air Horse One. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. They do. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. Mm -hmm. I think the Americans yeah. do it too, but I don't know if they call it Air Horse One. It's not Air Horse One. It's That's not. the private jet for Canada. Yeah. <laughs> You're up for is, is, it, is everybody back? I, I can't tell. Is everybody back? We're all back. Yeah, we're all back. We're all back. Okay. Interesting category, Alan. Okay. Yeah. It's all over the place. Well, I think I generally everybody seems just to like Alan's well, mind. So. <laughs> All right. Um, you know what? Um, I, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to put the numbers on because you'll just. They're not long answers anyway. So here we go. So number one um, is, and a bunch of you guys got this. We won't count spelling. Louis Vuitton, and they they show them actually making the stuff. Oh. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Vuitton. All mm -hmm. right. Uh, number two. Number two. Yeah. Uh, that and I just got. Why did that happen? Uh, hold on. That's the same guys. Listen, I'm having a little bit. I'm like just writing uh, this, this stuff paper. We do have it here at my house and pens and papers and and, and, I, and, I, and but it's okay now. I'm not sure. Well, uh, I I'm leaving this one open for discussion. Because I think many or most of you got the gist of the thing. Um, yeah. All right. You're wrong. The, <laughs> and the, the, the end zones, as opposed to the American, 10, 10 yards are 20 yards. And Ron, I looked it up. It's not 35. It's I 20. thought it was 35. Yeah, I was it was bigger too, but no, it's 20 yards. Um, okay. But it doesn't matter. It's, it's bigger. And they, they in, if they, uh, in American football, they moved they moved the goalpost back partly because they, they would always interfere with passing and people guys were running into the stuff. But <laughs> those you know, are Americans. Was, what do you expect? But the, the, and the Canadian football because it's so you'd be the, the post would be so far back it would discourage teams from uh, actually uh, kicking field goals. 
and um, uh, so they left them. And what they there, it's actually not quite on the. It's just about a yard or two behind the the front goal line. Uh, mm -hmm. So there's a little space so guys don't kill themselves when they're running into the, across the line. But anyway, so I tell you what, I see some of you guys are talking about the bigger field. Somebody said it was metric. That doesn't count. But uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> sorry, you don't get that one. But uh, if you said, well, because of the larger field, I'll, I'll buy that. Okay. And you don't have to specify uh, the end zone. We specified the end zone. Yeah, we said a longer end zone. Well, then, okay, then if you didn't spell, all right, fair enough. Then if you did not say end zone, uh, you, uh, if you just said it was a bigger field, then you no, know, sorry, we'll do it. It's because it is because of the end zone. Okay, okay. great. We got you just okay. robbed your team of a point. Wow. Th thanks for talking people out of points. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Thank you right. for bringing it up. All Vincent. right. I think. Uh, uh, Virtually everybody, I think, got this one. Uh, he, was, he was French. Andre René Roussemont. Yep. Uh, oh, 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 I didn't know. Uh, here French. you go. Mm. French. All right. And I know at least one team got got uh, this one. Um, all right. Where are we coming? And peace. And it is, in fact, a, 2015. Oh. Uh, okay. Because it, it was the, the the emphasis I tried to uh, when I wrote it down I, I highlighted but didn't come out uh, common. I mean there are a lot of five letter words, but should they have went the with most, you, Janine. Want, the most they wanted the most common. Right. We were doing math trying to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I know at least uh, a couple of teams got this one. Uh, really. I, I I chose it because I thought <laughs> the name the name the name would make it a little confusing, but um, he 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 is in fact Finnish. Oh, Finnish! But I think the, the Barkov is because I think his dad uh, was either Russian or Ukrainian and played hockey. I think in Finland, and that's where that's where uh, he was born. So, Haskin yeah. got that point for us. I heard him get that with that uh, with. Uh, authority uh your was, brother uh, got was... that point for us all right good uh, going on and here we go and number six number six number six number six is um and i know bill got this one uh, yeah oh i didn't send it sorry mm -hmm. 81 oh, Hey, Rob Palmer. And, uh, I don't know if everybody got this one or not. Uh, Is there but, any wiggle okay. room there? Yeah, if you, said, if you said May 81, I'll give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Rob. All you right. have to sing happy anniversary to him? Yeah, uh, later, though. Later. Okay. And, now uh, the rocket the, engineer shows up after okay. the question. <laughs> Second Olympics, we're at in. Paris. Oh, hey. Good right. going, Bill. One or the other. Yeah. Um, all right. And um I thought I thought maybe I would make this a little tricky the next one. Uh, but um maybe not. <laughs> That's why uh, it was Ralph. Yeah. Uh, yeah. uh the one of the names was fictional. And uh, Ron, do you remember Farrell? Farrell Funston? Funston played football for uh, big football. I think Winnipeg or something like that. It's one of the Western teams. I know one that. One of the Western teams. I, I just always loved the name. So yeah. I, I Farrell Funston. But yeah, uh, Met uh, Metcalf. And so you you had uh, uh, so much for the superiority of the Aryan uh, the Aryan nation. Uh, two black uh, Americans. Two yeah. black Americans finished one, two. And, and, <laughs> and they, they also, I think, uh, uh, they were both on the uh, four by four uh, uh, relay as well, or mm. the four by two, the 400 meter relay that they won gold medal in. Um, okay, number nine. And I think, I think a bunch of you guys got that. Um, we're I in round Su three. I know, I know Susan got it. Uh, uh, and so did Bill. Here we go. It's um, I wrestling. Uh, oh, in high school, in high school, he he was undefeated, as, uh, 
and uh, and then he took it. And I did see he did some rowing in his freshman year, but then went back and finished it up uh, as a wrestler. And um, he uh, he um, got, that's where he, he lettered. Interesting thing is the reason I even thought about him is that I was watching some kind of short and he a uh, 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 TikTok thing or whatever, and he's talking about the spin of a football. He's, he's throwing he's throwing a football. And the guy throws the football to him. And the way he caught it, he caught it like he played football. And so oh. uh, uh, Alexa lied to me because I asked Alexa, I that said, did, I asked if he played football. And she said, um, incorrectly, she said he was a receiver at Michigan, um, which he wasn't. I never went to Michigan. Okay. But uh, anyway, so I had to look it up. So he, but he was a wrestler. So there you go. Do we get extra points for? Susan, spelling it correctly, W-R-A-S-S-I-N-G. I don't You left out the L. L. Ra oh, yeah. Wrestling. Wrestling. And there's, and there's wrestling. no W in wrestling. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Yes, there is. Uh, no, wrestling. No. Nope. Um, I, I, what's, what the hell? Um, okay, I don't know how, what, what I just I did here. So. Um, <laughs> Okay. okay, wait a second. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I did something happen here. Let me just back this up. Kevin, is there a story behind that picture or will we find out later? All right. Um, you wait. Now, changed it to it. I think most of you got this one right. Um, yeah, it's a, oh, it's a sports. Maybe it's the runner? It's, it's the, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Oh, is it? What? Wow. Um, okay. Oh, there you go. Wow. All right. Nice. Um, so he is a handsome. Uh, so apparently, see, so most of you guys got this right. And I, I guess I'll just because all you need is true or false. It doesn't matter why. But uh, apparently, yeah, I, I, she she couldn't swim. And uh, according to her sister and what they cast a doubt is apparently one of the things they said is that they said she she she'd gotten she jumped off the boat and got into a dinghy and fell out of the dinghy. But her sister said there's no way she was so terrified of the water to right. swim that she would have even attempted to get into a dinghy to try and get away. So anyway, so the answer is false. And there you have it. We should have listened to Lana and to Susan. That's right. So that's that's what, it. What, Lana well, Turner. Turner. Turner was her sister, I thought. Yes. No? Sister? Yes. I'm making stuff up then, I guess. No, that's correct. It's not Lana Turner. It's Tina Turner. <laughs> Tina Turner is not <laughs> Lana something else. It was, it, was it, Ike, it was Ike that threw her over. <laughs> it was it was Lana Wood. Lana Wood. Yeah. Oh yeah, Wood. Wasn't Natalie Wood? Natalie Wasn't Wood. She, like uh, had Russian ancestry. They were Finnish. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> she was related to Andre the Giant. Finished. Let's get those scores going. And we will start with Kamala is right. They're weird. Five. And next. Sorry, guys. <laughs> well, you took one of our points away after you gave it to us. So there's that. <laughs> that, that, that yeah. The next one. <laughs> The SCOTUS changed its motto. See, I fixed it. By by fixing this little piece of information, I almost broke the internet because <laughs> scores started disappearing and I had to go back to the individual groups. So I'm not sure what I did, but it's all fixed, I think, now. So uh, uh, what did uh, SCOTUS change its motto? No, one is above the law. We had five. Ooh, another five. Well done. Susan will be happy. Around. And we are the best team since Abraham Lincoln. Oh, we only had a four. We fucked up really bad. Oh. It really, we did it's really you well. Said you swear. And we All right. Win. Thankfully, not the weird Republicans. <laughs> Another binary 10. Wow. Sorry, regular 10. <laughs> now I'm <laughs> doing it. Give us 20. Give us 20. Okay. All right. It's and then we nine. have say it to her face. We got nine. Ooh. Nice. Uh -huh. nice. Oh, we wow. slaughtered them. Oh, such a mix them. On it that is one. close. And before I stop sharing my screen, Susan has asked me to do this. I miss I forgot to do this during the break. So we'll do it right now. Share the share the picture. 
So look at the kitties. Okay, we don't have the picture here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Unless they yeah. look like a spreadsheet. Oh, yeah, I they're not. You know what I did? I, put, I know exactly what happened there because I shared the tab instead of my screen. Does that make sense? There you go. Yeah. Share the tab instead of the tab. So, <laughs> so I will do this again. There we go. There's the picture I'm. She asked me to. Say. Is that awesome? It's beautiful. Oh yeah. Aww, cats oh, having oh, fun. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Caspian there peeking around. Do you have the third cat there, Caspian? No, I don't know. Where she is. They were all three on. That Jamie looks like three cats. Ago. All no. three of them were on Jamie. But you know, actually, you could see that Caspian is leaning over, but yeah. his halo is taking a little time to catch up. His halo is just was just. Did you guys up. notice the halo? Do you need me to show you yeah, again, or did you no, see the halo? Wait, halo? Is that a halo? He's got um, a halo. Want to see it again? Is he halo? I see that. <laughs> nice. Right that's here. like that's like my uh my it's light really lampshade. Cool. Yeah. My lampshade had, crown. Jamie had all three cats on her for a while. For Adrian, a while, Jamie had all three yes. of them. You didn't ask for people to sign up for next week. Thank you. Thank you, cat. Thank you, Princess Cat. Princess and I was busy cat. watering my plants in the break, so I forgot to remind you. So yes, thank you very much. Better late than never. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, and it wouldn't be a game with that without forgetting to do that until the between the third and fourth round, right? <laughs> <laughs> so right now I have uh Rob and Gail for next week. So we need two more categories and a bonus. I'm going to be in beautiful downtown Canada for the next two weeks. So I'm downtown going to, uh, <laughs> so I will <laughs> not be available. Where are you going? I know somebody in Canada. I told you this twice now. We'll be up in uh, Northern Manitoba. Oh, wow. oh to that see the, uh, to see the, uh, the, uh, the thingies, the uh, Northern Lights. Yeah. That's right. I, forgot oh, about that. Yeah. I saw the Aurora last night from my bedroom window. Oh, nice. Seriously? Right. Can you share it. those Not drugs? <laughs> I don't need to. I'm in no, Northern we, Canada. Yeah, we live in Northern Canada. We live yeah. in Canada. We see them. Anyone else? We want to volunteer? Or I can volunteer. Or what, what is it? Voluntold? I can voluntold people? Celia, do you want to do one of on your travels? Oh. <gasps> Doesn't have, have to be exactly about it, but you have, you've just been away. Hmm. That is an idea. You want to do Deborah's going to be back soon, and we she's going to probably do one on. Um... um, I can do either a bonus or a round, something lightweight and then quick. All right, so Karen, I'll put you in for a bonus. How does that sound? Karen will sing. Thank you. Yay! Uh, so we we need one more. If Celia is going to do it, because um, I could come up with something. Perfect. I'm Thank sure you very much. Will really, well. And anyway, I, mean, I could come up with something. I will be in Iceland think... looking for elves, so uh, I won't be here. So um, Iceland can't be coming for elves, not Northern Lights, huh? Oh, I, we see the Northern Lights here all the time, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I love Canadian. <laughs> oh, we had amazing Northern Lights here this year. Now, Iceland, of course, will, is kind of a prime spot, so. No, elves and uh, there is a lake monster. Got to listen to the Skeptic Zone. To find out oh, about the lake cool. there's right. a lake monster. There is a lake monster. I think there's a lake monster in every country in the world. But anyway, <laughs> and one more person. And, and two and some. <laughs> we have so many in Canada, it's ridiculous. All right. Um probably Am I a category or a bonus? Yep. Uh Karen, you are a bonus. Okay. Thank you. Anyone want to do a category? Unless somebody wants to would prefer to do a bonus, then I can then switch. I'll switch. Karen, yeah. Then Karen would switch. I'll, I'll think about it attic. tomorrow. I, mm -hmm. I I feel like I should do it. It was really not that complicated. I'm just tired right now. So mm -hmm. do you want me to put you as number one, Wendy, then? So that you can do it right at the beginning? Okay. Would that work? Maybe that'll be good. Yeah. Okay, well, perfect. Thank you, Wendy. I'm close right now. Okay, so I'll put it in my calendar. So I want Leonard's oh, wow. here. Oh, Leonard's here too. See, oh great! Is, is my team going to get one of the three new people, even though we're in first? Because there's only going to be just two admitted people when I do my round. No, we need them all. Did you look at our score? 
We need them all. Well, we're in last place. Oh, we get we no, get Leonard, another person Jean in last place. Always taking. We want Leonard, Leonard, Leonard missed my uh, singing, so get the person. All right, so we've got two people. I'll, I'll get it on the We're... recording, Vincent. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. Carl, uh, Carl, did you say that you've got two people who are going to be leaving? There's only three people in my team, and when I do the round, there's only going to be two people left. Oh, no, yeah. no, Kat, Kat will be Kat's there. Go. Oh, Kat, okay, well. Kat will be there. She's, oh, okay. she's my surrogate. I forgot team. about that. that yeah, she I'm floating. <laughs> she... <laughs> See, well, we're, right now, it's it's the loons. We're just one person. Right. Mm -hmm. We're a toonie. You get two loons for a toonie. Oh, we get one, Adrian. We're in last place and have only three people. There you go. So, true. That's so true. isn't it's it Rob up. and Leonard? Yeah. We are can in we, last place. Can we have Neil deGrasse Tyson? <laughs> so, so one will go to get him, uh, him. Alan's team and one will go to Jamie's. There we go. All right, so who is next? It is Carl, correct? Yeah. Okay. Good, away. Good night now, you guys. I had Good fun. Bye. Bye, Bye, Wendy. Good night. Press Tyson, the category is languages of Java. Look it, that's him with Kevin. There he All is. right. Neil was handsome at every age. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> handsome and smart. What a combination. He's really into wine, though. Plot I, I, holes I, and fundamentally flawed films, volume two. Oh, Name boy. the movie based on plot the holes. Like oh, plot holes. Caspian, you'll like this one. Oh, yeah. Number one. Why don't they just live by the waterfall? Number two. She wasn't able to call him from Paris because the phone lines were down, yet he was somehow able to call and order himself a pizza. Number three, if he doesn't know he's not real, why does he freeze every time people are around? Number four, the plan for hiding a kid from his father was to put him in the care of his father's closest living relative where his father grew up and had the kid retain his father's surname. Number five. She signed her name on the contract with Ursula, so she could have just written an explanation on paper or in the sand to tell Eric what was going on. Number six. A tech guy in 1996 writing a virus that attacks the enemy systems in this movie is like expecting Charles Babbage or Joseph Jacquard to crack FHA2 encryption. Number seven. Such a mighty wind cannot there blow, but without the movie, without it, the movie has nowhere else to go. Eight. There is a major university lab containing animals infected with an incurable and highly infectious disease that turns animals into a raging, ruthless, and nearly unstoppable killing machines. The lab is protected by security and safety measures so lax that a group of three bumbling animal rights activists can easily penetrate it and free the animals into the world despite being warned that the animals are infected. Number nine. Even if the white blood cells will attack and destroy the sub and the body and the body of Dr. Michaels and, the, and the, the atoms would remain and take normal size after the critical one hour is up. This was also applied to the laser gun, which they forgot or left behind on purpose, as well as several dozen liters of saline solution, which were miniaturized and pumped into Bennis's body. He's in a lot of trouble. <laughs> and number 10. There was no need to know the capsule's combination to open it, as vinegar is easily oh, frozen in a household freezer. Freezing temperature vinegar is around 28 degrees Fahrenheit, or 2.2 below zero Celsius. Simply freeze the capsule and then smash it open to reveal the internal message. And go forth and break out. So we're trying to name the movies, correct? Name the movies.
Leonard and Rob are still uh, unassigned. I'm back. I will assign Leonard, Leonard and Rob are still unassigned. Okay, thank you very much. Leonard. What round is this? This is round four. Four. Three. And Rob. Two. Um, uh, I went to the wrong room. Uh, I went, Which I room do you need to go to? Three. Three. So I could have stayed in the other room. I got we had, they're a better team, but <laughs> oh, Janine, why are you here? Janine needs to go there too. There you go. So you should be able to go there now, Alan. Hey. After you cover of darkness. What? You're funny. <laughs> our, our neighbor left, so.
All right. Boy, I was unhelpful on this one. I got to apologize. So, um, Rob and Leonard, uh, other folks know this. Sitting over here is Susan, Jamie with a lap full of cats, and Caspian. So. Is, is Mark is Mark is Mark home yet? No, tomorrow uh, they're going to pick him up at two. Okay. Bring him here. The bed's here now. Oh. All right, here we go. The answers to number one: a quiet place. Oh, but, but in this movie, oh. there's these creatures okay. that emerge and. They attack any noise they hear. And uh, so the whole movie is about trying to be as quiet as possible. They live on this farm. It's super quiet. Any noise you make draws the creatures in. And like halfway through the movie, they go to a waterfall and there's no creatures there. The guy says, oh yeah, this place is great because the creatures can't come here because there's so much noise, they won't come here. And everyone goes, so why aren't you living at the freaking waterfall? <laughs> well, why weren't they? Because they're, they're idiots. But I thought they figured out okay. there. Because as they say in in, in screen pitch, because then the movie can happen. Then we wouldn't have a movie. Number two is yeah. Home Alone. Home Alone. Yeah. yeah. Home the, alone. the snowstorm had the phone lines down, allowed Kevin's home. But oh. apparently, and so they couldn't call home to find out how he was, but he was able to call and order a pizza somehow. Oh. <laughs> and this oh, was yeah. in the age where people had cell phones very commonly. Could it, could it not have just been that the international line was down? No, no. It was, they specifically said because of the snowstorm where the he lived, the phone lines mm -hmm. were down. The phone lines were fine mm -hmm. internationally. Yeah, international Toy Story, lines. Buzz Lightyear doesn't think he's a toy. And mm -hmm. yet every time people come around, he still freezes. I got that at the last minute. I, I, for that one, I'm going to say it's like instinct, even though he doesn't realize yeah. that it's it's something yeah, instinct. That's, that's the, the plot yeah. convenience explanation. That, yeah, that's of course. Plot. Yep. Number four, I will take Star Wars, Star Wars, A New Hope, Star Wars, Episode Four, New Hope, or I'll take Episode Three, Revenge of the Sith, since it happens at the end of that movie. Yeah, well, wait a minute. It Thank happened you. at the end of that movie. In New Hope, you didn't know any of that. That's yeah, no, but it if, thing, if you watch them in the order George Lucas wants you to watch them, oh. you know that it's the beginning of Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I specifically it. said it's Revenge of the Sith because that's when it happened, and you, all right. Number three and uh, five, The Little Mermaid. I love that movie. Number okay. six, Independence yes. Day. Also, except Yay, ID What was it? Independence Day. Number I seven. I think you're seriously underestimating oh. Jeff Goldblum. The Martian. You can't Dang have it. wins like uh, that. Uh, oh, that's wrong. Uh, yeah, come on, that one. Holy crap, Carl. I interviewed I, Neil deGrasse Tyson. I was very Tyson. disappointed, Rob. I interviewed Neil deGrasse Tyson last week, and we were talking about this. Specifically, yeah. that problem in the movie. Yeah, oh, I was yeah. so disappointed, Rob. I was, in fact, I was so glad when you came in. Oh, Rob's going to be in time for my round. He's going to get the Martian question. <laughs> oh my God, we got it. Yep. I missed that one. Dang it. Number eight. <laughs> Twenty-eight days later. Nobody did it. Yeah. God, that was an awful movie. Number nine. <laughs> Fantastic voyage. Woohoo! Yay, we got the it. Dog. I remember yesterday I saw a YouTube video all about the making of that movie. Finally, Ooh. number 10, The Da Vinci Code, yes. where there's whole, yeah, see, whole this whole big the deal. Thing. Like, this is got why the little cryptic like this. thing. Code and if you, thing. if you break it open, <laughs> it'll release you know? <laughs> vinegar that'll destroy the message. Yes. Okay. So you have to know the combination, or you could just freeze it and you smash it open. Stuff like this at home, too. It's like if there's nobody there. <laughs> Yay! Good job. All right, and now to paste in the answers. Thank you. Okay. I'm you. Um, and I'll paste them into the, the all answer. text unformatted by word version so that the numbers stay consistent. Boom. All right. So the first group, let's see how Camilla is right. They're weird. Did. Nine. Nice. Ooh, catch up. Good work, guys. <laughs> and vinegar. All right. And oh, um, <laughs> in the movie. we are the best team since Abraham Lincoln. No, we're not. <laughs> we're not. Uh, we have six. I love Peggy. <laughs> oh, you're 
Todd. I'm, there I'm, you I'm go. looking at the screen, Adrian Zone Giggler, and I don't see my name on any team. Which team am I? Uh, what am I on? You're on five. I on. You're on five. I just haven't done. I haven't gotten there yet. Bob's going to be on our team. Are we suck that bad? No, no, we're a team <laughs> two. Oh, I thought we were five. And then I believe I put uh, Leonard here. Okie dokie. No, we're only three now. So, uh, SCOTUS changed its motto. No, one is above the law. Six. No. And we got, we got seven. Vincent is staying late. Oh, he stays all night. Yeah. 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 Which one did you think? I think we didn't get one, two, uh, seven or eight. Carl's team. And uh, we got no, we, what was what was eight? It's Carl's team. What's the what's her name? Thank um, you, Vincent. Nine. What wait? Yes. What was it? What was the answer to eight? Maybe I missed that. Maybe you're right. Thankfully, not weird. Republican. Eight, what, eight, eight days eight, later eight, was eight, the eight, answer. Eight. Oh, you're right. So yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah. Then. then it's six. It's six then. Thank you. Yeah. And the last team here. Oh, thank you. Not the weird Republican. Charging out of the lead for. Ooh, <laughs> oh no, they're not Ooh. ahead of us. Ooh. We're, we, we're yeah. in the lead now. We they were in the lead, but they only got four, and we got nine. Yeah, so we're at thirty-seven. Yeah, say it to our faces. I got thirty-seven now. Well, Look kicking that. your ass. Look, I love these April wow, freaking time. Six point six. As we know, she will if she ever gets to say it to her face. If she ever says it to her face. <laughs> oh, All right, Jamie, you're you're up. Hey. This is going to be a very quick bonus. This Ooh. is a very quick match. All set? Ooh. Yeah. Match the president with the favorite <laughs> team. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Match the president with their favorite food. <laughs> and I listen, oh. there's the president's, and you match it with his favorite food. Lovely. Well done. Oh, That's in all. the world did we know that? What, what, is, the them, what is the source for this? What is the source for this? Yeah, what's your source uh, for this? I, I saw a YouTube video on this. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, oh, oh. Well, I trust the YouTube video. Is is <laughs> I'm quickly going to make oh, another man. YouTube video with my own <laughs> list, and I'm going to get ten because I'm going to get. Was Elvis Presley president? Because I know his favorite food. <laughs> well, I was going to say I was thinking of Reagan and the jelly beans, but he's not there. That's not fair. No, it's too yeah, easy. Yeah, that's that's the only one I know. Yeah. Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter was too easy. Red was too easy. Have so fun. I'm guessing you didn't Trump is too easy. Because the answer would have been all of it. <laughs> stew, buddy. Squirrel stew, buddy. <laughs> You able to get there, Vincent? Are you stuck? Oh, Peggy, do you need help getting to your room? I think I'm good, thanks. All right. I'm just trying to set up the uh, the page. Okay. Um, which you know, I'm slow. I'm old yeah. and slow. Well, me too. I'm still putting the answers to the last category. <laughs> so. <laughs> thanks, I time. just need to know if can I get out of here. Oof. I don't know if I can leave now. Can I leave now? Oh, here we go. Okay. Breakout rooms is down here. I just need a full screen for it. Thank you. You're welcome. They're all panicking by the. <laughs> hey, Kevin, do you need help getting to your room?
Okay. All set. Yeah, congratulations, yeah. Jamie. Our score is going to be another one of your disasters. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was the idea. Some of these could use logic. Some of them. A few of them. Okay, here are the answers. Number one, John Kennedy, who was from Boston, enjoyed his clam chowder. Yay! Re Yay. Read, the letter, read the letters, please. Read the I have number one. and the letter. Please, please give I. the letter. <laughs> one I. I. I clam chowder. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. Number two, Abe Lincoln, his favorite food was G, bacon and gingerbread cookies. What? Um, yep, that's what he liked. Number three, Dwight Eisenhower is H. He liked Mamie's homemade fudge. Yay. Yay. Did he brag? Did he share that widely that people knew that? Oh, yes, yeah, so it was well known. I guess it was. Yeah, I thought that was an easy one. Um, number four, William Henry Harrison, who was a very early president. Number four, he enjoyed number J. J is squirrel stew. <laughs> okay, we mixed With up William the two 19th Harrison. century guys. Yep. yep. But he was only in office for like a year or so, or he was not very, very short. Days. Yeah. yeah, very um, short period of time he died. Um, FDR, number five. Five is F. He liked grilled cheese sandwiches and hot dogs. Yay. Oh my gosh. Who was that? FDR. Oh, oh he's FDR. like the higher society. He has to have one of the fancier ones. <laughs> That's yeah. that was my logic, Karen. I said there's yeah. there's I was like, no way FDR loves hot, hot dogs. dogs. Hot dogs is a Johnson. That's what we did. No, uh, 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 Johnson. No, he had enough hot dog. But you'll see. But you should have gotten John Adams. John Adams is from Massachusetts. So number six is B, codfish cakes. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's a very Massachusetts thing. Harry Truman, oh, number seven. JFK is Massachusetts. Seven is C. He liked his mother's fried chicken. Oh. Oh. Number eight, Lyndon Johnson. He's from the Hill Country in Texas where they do all the deer shooting. So deer hunting is very popular in the, the hill country of Texas. So eight is A, okay? Spicy. A is spicy deer sausage. And it, venison. He was a hunter. Venison. Deer hunting where he lived was very, very popular. Uh, Isn't that nice? Yeah. Number nine, Richard Nixon. Not was, for the deer. Um, not for the deer. Nine, Richard Nixon, um, not unexpectedly at all, is E, cottage cheese and ketchup. Hey, oh, you are not unexpected. Why is that un not not unexpected? Because he has no taste. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. It, he had no taste. He just had no. Okay. Oh, thank you. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's that was my logic. I just said I will knock it until disgusting. you've tried it. That, a guy yeah, guilty yeah. of crimes against humanity, that's a crime yeah. against humanity. Uh, uh, I, I, I <laughs> love <laughs> lots of things, and I, I like wouldn't it. even eat that. There yeah. are lots and, of things you should knock before you try it. Yeah. And number 10, <laughs> Tom, and that's Tom, one. Yeah. I've Thomas tried Jeff it, I liked it. Yeah. Congratulations. Right, 10, Sorry. <laughs> okay. Ten, Thomas Jefferson traveled to France, and he brought back macaroni and cheese. There you go. Ten, which is D. D macaroni and cheese. And I'll put it in chat. And you watch this movie on the interwebs. So it must all be correct. <laughs> it has to. <laughs> yeah. it's and fun. YouTube. Well, oh, scores. I was going to say thanks, Jamie. And that's the end of the game. And I forgot to do the scores. Here we go. I'm so Canadian. At least you didn't end the How chat. many sorries were in that sentence? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I wasn't counting. Sorry. No need to. You just know it's a lot. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. So we will start, even though they're only one point behind, with Kam Kam Kamala is right. There. Kamala. 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 Just Susan, like it's spelled. It Pronounce. Just like it's spelled. Adrian. You know, I, after this, I got Kamala. my washing, so you know. <laughs> uh, we had an eight. Ooh, well, she nine. Did, uh, did we pronounce it? Crema. Oh. Wow. I'm impressed. Crema. 
is. And wow. Next, if we can go to oh SCOTUS changed its motto. Oh, one is above the law. We had three. Four. Yeah, no. Four. No, I got three also. Yeah. Clam one chowder, you... codfish cakes. The what 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 numbers? I got numbers oh, written down. One, six, nine, and ten. What was six? Six was the codfish cakes. What letter? I don't wow. freaking know. I didn't write down the letters. <laughs> it was B. Just B. B. Okay, well, I'm but just... We, we, wrote down, we wrote down D for dog, unless I wrote it wrong. Okay. You wrote I'll it wrong what? because everything had to match up, and we got lots wrong, so there was only four <laughs> right. It's supposed to be 3.5. <laughs> All right. Let's go on. <laughs> so, it so by the way, a four. By the way, our, our team did... Uh, Team um, five, we we did uh, better. We did four points better than the randomizer because I, I actually yeah. actually tried an experiment. I just totally randomized them to see if we did better than that, and the randomizer got zero. So. Ooh. <laughs> and Rob, there were three we actually knew, so you, we cool. did do better than the randomizer because of that. We wouldn't have been. We would have done worse than the randomizer. So was it four? You can't do worse than zero. All right. <laughs> Okay, so let's do. We are the best team since Abraham Lincoln. Well, based on that last scoring, um, I think we got either a four or a ten. So you could just average those. Oh, yeah. ten. All right. No, we got a four. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good math at night. Oh, I don't know. All yeah. right. So let's do. Thankfully, not the weird Republicans. We got six. Wow. Not point Is something. Is there another kind? We'll take a point. <laughs> we got five. Oh, and thank you very much, Vincent. Oh, good. You Yay. There we what? go. We won? Oh, 42. A great 42. number. It's, uh, yeah, it's a it's good a answer. That's a good you, chart, you see what chart I'm wearing, by the way? Yes, that's chart, awesome. 42. That's good Is that life, the universe, and everything? It's, it also, is. it's also my anniversary number. Yes. Happy anniversary. Congratulations. Oh, we have to sing, sing now. now. We have we to sing. sing. Now. He's been around. Yeah, we got to sing. Years with the Happy anniversary. anniversary. From the Flintstones. To you. From the Flintstones. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Merry anniversary. Oh, my gosh. Your heart. Your heart. Your heart. Your heart. Happy anniversary. To you. Last time I ever mentioned Are any you in event. Pain yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, should, you should do the Flintstones. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Happy, happy, mm -hmm. happy, happy, happy anniversary. You can do it when you're talking, <laughs> Jane. Yeah, I know. I understand, right? When you don't mean to, it just happens. I know. The other day, Janine told me about her health years. problems, and all of a sudden, I created a like, celebratory a celebrating. <laughs> oh, she can't helped. walk, and Jane there was like throwing balloons in the air. <laughs> that's, that's only Mac users have that for Zoom. No, oh, no, that's your no, anniversary. That's not, that's not there Thank you, Adrian, for being our host. Well, Thank thanks. You, it was yeah, fun. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you for being. Yeah. Have a home. great trip, Adrian. Thank you. Good night, Can everybody. Yes. Good when hey, Ron, 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 when are you leaving? Text me. Oh, actually, we're not leaving till Friday, a week from tomorrow morning. All right. Adrian, text me pictures. If you, you're are, you, able are, you, are you going to do this next week? Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, it might be I hard. To I can't stay up that we'll late. See. We'll see. All right, I'll, I'll have to talk to you. Okay. Jane. Well, if you're able to. Yeah, for sure. So okay. Adrian, while I'm in northern time, Manitoba, I'll wave to you in, in, in Iceland. Tomorrow. Okay. Sounds good. Did you hear what Susan said? We chat tomorrow, Jane. Bye, bye. Did you hear what Susan said? See you. Gotta go. No, what did Susan say? What did Susan say? Uh, send me the, uh, what did it say? Send it to your, her. The video. Video. Okay. Send Susan the video of the recording. I think I saved it to online. Oh. Is it where is it? Uh, is it recording? Oh no, okay. I haven't stopped recording. It says it's recording. If you save it online, I don't know if we're gonna have the breakout rooms. Okay. Oh, but I think that's chosen at the back. beginning, not at the end. Yep. So, so save it to your computer if you can, because I really want